Hi, I'm going to teach you how to do tower patch. This is my stand, it's the most common in most shops. So you're going to grab your little uh, fork here. And you want to push this handle forward and then push this here. You're going to grab your tire, kind of move it out a little bit. And then you're going to grab your tire, your handle and uh, open it up. What I like to do first is I like to grab and have a clean surface. So if there's any dirt in there, you know, laying around the shop, you know, it's going to sit there for a while. So, Disconnect this. So I'm gonna move forward a little bit where I just cleaned. So okay. This is your tire tire medic. I'll use that later. This is your uh, drill. And you're gonna grab your drill. It's kind of like making a hole, you know, if you have a nail in a tire, you come in here. You wanna open it up, you know, wide enough for the patch to go in there. So, this is your drill. You're gonna just kinda coil that in there. And then I like to put it in the middle, kinda like wherever, you know, wherever the thing is, so. I usually go three times to make the hole. And I usually stick it in the hole again, and then it's right in the middle so I can find it. And then you come down here, and you want to go through the bottom, right through there in the hole again. You're going to push this button right here. It should come right up there. I like to do it three times. And then you're going to keep the grinder up there. And then this is your tire o -matic. You're gonna grab your little scraper here. You're gonna clean that surface up. You're gonna to try to get soften it up before you grind it. So you're just gonna clean that surface up a little bit, get that dirt off there. And as you can see, you can see little particles where the dirt and the rubber from the drilling. I usually spray that on there two times. Three's good enough. I don't want to go over excessive on it. The only thing, I put pressure on there so you can get it pretty good. And then, we'll grab my vacuum again. Okay. After you're done, scrape, you know, get your surface, you know, soft. You're going to grab your little tracer here. It has a circle on it. You're going to put this right through the hole. Kind of push it down. You don't want to like full force push it. You just want to have that straight. So now, as that done, this is chalk. You're gonna circle, put you know, circle your surface to how far you're gonna grind out. Kind of gives you kind of a slight idea. So after that's done, you're gonna pull. Your circle. Well. You're gonna hook your grinder up and take your bit. Uh, you're just gonna push up and then your bit comes right up. So this is your grinder. You're gonna put that right in there, push down, it's locked in. So now as you got your circle now, that's inside you want to uh, kind of grind in the circle. So I start from the top and it works slowly down side to side. You don't want to go too fast because you don't want to burn through the rubber and have the belt exposed. As you get down to the bottom, you're going to start off here. You want to rough up the edges so that tire pad does not come out. You know, it kind of grips it. So after that's done, that looks pretty good. So now you're going to disconnect your grinder. You don't need that no more. Grab my vacuum again. And just like me, I like to have it.
Okay. After you're done with that, you're gonna grab your uh, quick fix cement. Just gonna it's a brush, so you don't want to have too much on there. It's it's clear, so you're gonna come over here to your patch. You're just gonna put that on there. If you don't want to put too much, just you know, let that dry. So now you're gonna come over here. You're gonna have your little tool, your little utensil. I like to dip it so you can't see the top no more, the tip. Come over here. You're just gonna put that right in the hole. Right in the hole. Right there, kind of move it around. And then you want that cement to dry up in there. So it'll, the tire patch, you know, the patch don't fall out. So up here, you have your patches. You have this low blue on the back. I like that's you know where the surface is going against the tire so you want to pick at it get that blue off there and when you get it off I like to turn it around and just put it like that so you know if you touch that it's no good because you know there could be a chance that it'll fall off so Okay, now you're going to grab this, you're going to put the stem through the hole, and it's going to come out through the bottom. So as you can see, it's right through the bottom. Now you're going to grab your pliers, and then you're going to pull that, put it right on the uh, metal part. You're going to pull down until it comes all the way through. And you see that little, uh, in the center, there's going to be like a little uh, place that pushes down in the middle. That. Now you can take your blue tape off there, take it off, and then you can just throw these away when you're done. I put them on the table. But now this utensil is a stitcher. You're just gonna stitch that right up. I go side to side or up and down. You go up and down. And then sides. And now when that's stitched up, that's pushing all the air out so you don't have air. So now if you keep your uh, stem, this is from a previous one, you can actually cut that off. I like to pull it and then cut it. So now you're going to have this stem left over. You can use it. I usually use my fingers, but I'll show you how to use it with the stem. You're just going to pick at it, and there's this little clear film over your patch. You peel that right off. So now, you want to make sure that that's pushed down, and there's no effects with it. You know, if it's picked up, if you picked at it, then the patch is no good, and you'll have to do it again. Um, I come over here. This is your tire in a can, what I call it. I'm just going to open that up. It's going to be purple, but then it turns black. So I usually just kind of skim it off there so there's not a lot on there. You're going to come on here. You're going to start in the middle. Make a uh, clockwise circles. And then you want to work your way out. So then you could, you know, you don't have to go clockwise. I usually do. But I, it's a good idea to do circle motions. So, when that's done, it'll turn black, and now that patch is a part of the tire, so now it won't fall off. You're good now. That tire's ready to go back on the rim, back on the car, and notice, you won't notice it at all. So, thanks for spending your time with me and learning about how to do a tire patch.